Well, I've known Pat since the late 80s, and then I moved to Sligo, and then he also then moved to Sligo. Pat lives on his own, so when Covid hit, uh, I had to start bringing Pat his shopping on the week, uh, the weekends, because the system, his system for getting shopping had fallen apart. But also, Pat wanted to get back to work. His mobility makes it difficult to get in on his own, so having me here once a week, getting him into the studio just worked. And then I started working. One of the things that came out of this was, for both of us, I think, it was to make work with no purpose. I'm now 86. I have been doing this for more than 60 years. I'm not aiming to do anything, but I just do it. You know, I, I, I don't consider myself a painter, but I paint. It's, it's moving from the noun to the verb. It's trying to get away from a world where you, you, your validation is your occupation. We live in a Western culture which has been totally driven by results, by linear thinking. If you allow yourself to return to things, to go back to the beginning all the time, to not assume that anything's an end, then it opens up a totally different way of learning about what you're doing. I don't know if this will ever be seen. I don't care. It meant, like The fact that there's a show on at the moment is just literally with Pat's, I remove them from his table and get them framed. He doesn't finish them. And equally, I've, I'm learning that from mine. I don't really try and finish them. I date them on the day that I stop working on them. Uh, and that's about it. I, I think about the ending, because the ending is very really important. What occupies me now is I discover things about myself and about the world and about other people, about things that I didn't know before. So you're making these discoveries all the time. Life is full of surprises. Every day is new. Everything that happens has never happened before. So why aren't you surprised? That's where I first saw you, Pat. Huh? That's where I first saw you, sitting with Paddy Graham. Huh? It's interesting, initially when I started I thought I couldn't I paint the same thing every week. And now I don't even give it any thought. It's not really anything other than showing up each week and painting. It is a thing of, of really not questioning anything. You need to stop thinking. If, I, if I'm all the time preoccupied by this, what's going to happen tomorrow, I'm not present today. You, you're just looking at this shell. I don't think we say anything from one other than I'm finished, I'm ready for lunch had enough. I think that's what makes it possible to hang out together, is that we can spend a lot of time saying nothing. <laughs> it's harder to make friends as you get older, so in a way, for me, yeah, it's, it is. It has been an opportunity to kind of grow a friendship, and without, but without, not consciously. There's an element of accident to it, the fact that I had to keep coming meant you, the restriction makes it deeper. And it's certainly helped both, I think, both of us to survive the existences we've landed ourselves with, yeah. Like someone said, are you worried about what people are going to think of you when you die or so? And I said, no, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can, you know, I think, you know, why, why worry about that? Because if I do the best I can now, and I'm kind to people, and I'm kind to myself, 
I just as much as you can. You, you uh, accept the world. Mm -hmm. But there are, it is the thing is, there are no answers. But we are, our culture persuades us to look for answers. There are none.